Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. I was going to say Friday the 13th, but it actually isn't. It's Saturday, February 13th, 2021. Yesterday was the start of the Lunar New Year, and there has been so much going on since you last saw my smiling face on my Avon channel here. So just to get you caught up a little bit, I took my Zyrtec this morning because we are in the middle of allergy season. And as you can see, my face is a little bit red. That is caused by environmental allergies. I've got my Diet Dr. Pepper, which I'm going to open now. It's going to make a sound. Ah, there we go. Diet Dr. Pepper is my new vice. I found it over the holidays. And this morning, we're going to do a get ready with me. If the audio sounds a little bit strange, it's because my microphone is down here, not up here. This time, usually I have it up above my head, but... With my studio set up the way it is today, and as you can see, we have kind of a new setup. Um, I'm kind of excited about it. New furniture, got my sign here. Um, so with the new setup, I had to change things uh, the way I did things a little bit. Um, I do have a cat who's running back and forth behind the camera uh, because everything is set differently now and she's not used to it. So if the camera shakes or something, that's the cat moving my tripod want to talk a little bit about Avon kickoff. It was absolutely amazing. If you can go back and watch the replays, if you're a rep and you have access to it, highly recommend it. I was really blown away by some of what I learned about myself. And I'm going to grab my, my notes over here. So I have my planner. I did something new in 2021. Normally I don't ever write anything in pen. Uh, because I'm always nervous about plans changing and if uh, 2020 taught us anything it was that life changes hello kitty yes I can see you right there she's literally right below the camera and about to walk on my microphone yes that's her moving the microphone stand can I help you can I help you yeah I love you too goodbye bye bye go on email go on psst, psst. Thank you. If you don't have a cat photo bombing you, do you really YouTube? Um, so normally what I do is I write everything in pencil. And this year, I'm writing it in pen. This was a big, big deal for me. I cannot even explain what a big deal this was. Um, but I learned a lot about myself through the quiz test personality profile that we had access to as representatives and um something that really stood out to me psh, get down from there see what i mean something that really stood out to me was a quote by dolly parton and it says figure out who you are and then do it on purpose and you know, we talk about finding ourselves, we talk about New Year, figuring out what we want to do for the New Year, and uh, something that one of the questions that was asked was, what makes you different, and what is the value you're delivering? Well, what makes me different is that I am your vintage-inspired Avon lady. I am a vintage enthusiast. Uh, I subscribe to vintage style, not vintage values. So if you are familiar with the vintage community at all, you'll know what that means. And in brief, what it means is we enjoy fashion, music, uh, movies, but we don't embrace some of the less savory things that went along with the eras of days gone by, such as misogyny, racism, bigotry, and so forth and so on. So that is who I am. And as part of this process that we went through, uh, we had to figure out uh, how we're different, which is an adjective, and what we do best, and that's a noun. Um, and in the personality profile that we took, uh, my results came back as bold, artistic, and unorthodox. And I always like to say I'm the worst direct marketing salesperson ever because I really have a hard time getting out of my comfort zone and going and meeting people directly and trying to sell them stuff. Because if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Doesn't bother me. I mean, 
right? I'm just, I'm not that person to be the hard sell. So, uh, my distinct value is my ability to deliver unorthodox style. And I embrace that fully. And that's who I am. So that was something that I really, truly benefited from, got to know myself a little bit better over kickoff. And I was so, so thankful for the opportunity to take part in it. Uh, and I know today you'll see I'm wearing this orange patterned dress, literal oranges, not orange as in the color, but oranges as in the fruit with uh, orange blossoms. This was made for an event that I went to um, that was citrus themed and I'm super proud of it because I made it. So that's who I am. I make clothes, I design clothes. I also am your vintage enthusiast Avon lady. So with that being said, we're gonna dive right in. I'm doing a get ready with me this morning and we'll chit chat a little bit while I do that. Now, as I said before, my face is a little red because of allergies and you can hear my nose is sniffling a little bit. So this morning, just to kind of, it's not to cleanse because I already washed my face last night, but just to kind of freshen up, I'm gonna use the Rice Water Bright. And I don't know if that's in focus, I can't really tell. My camera's a little bit away from me. Um, they're cleansing facial wipes. I use the cleanser that goes with these. It is super thick and luscious and the size of a pea goes a very long way. But I like these just to kind of freshen up my face. It's a little warm in the studio today because I've been setting up and as you can see, this side of my face still looks a little bit um, dewy. And actually this side is the side that I just wiped so this side is obviously gonna look moist but my face is still dewy from the moisture that I've been using um, to combat the dryness from allergies. Whoo, my face went red. So as you can see, just barely touching my face, my skin is so sensitive, it reacts to everything. I'm barely touching my face with the wipe, but this is what I look like. I'm bare-faced. Oh, but... Okay, this has a very, very delicate fragrance. It's not super overwhelming. It's nothing strong, which I really enjoy. I'm, I'm not a big fan of super scented, fragranced uh, cosmetic products. They kind of annoy me. So, eh, there's my trash pile over there. All right, so during kickoff, uh, they were talking about this new product line called PharmaRx. These are all vegan and they're um, super greens and uh, plant-based and all kinds of good stuff. And there's a cooling gel, a multivitamin moisture cream, Bakuchiol serum and eye cream, which I'm not super 100% uh, what all they're supposed to do, but I am going to go with this cooling gel. Um, I bought this uh, little trial size set because as I said, my skin is super sensitive. And before I want to try and sell something to anybody, I really want to be able to talk about what is the product and what it does and how my skin reacts. Um, everybody's skin is different. This is very lightly fragranced. You can see it's just a little green, creamy looking stuff. Um, I got my little mirror down here. Oh, I wish it would stop rotating. There we go. I'm just gonna pat that on. I mean, I, I do love K-Beauty products. I think um, they are very well made. I'm super enthusiastic about the partnership that we now have with LG because LG is our parent company. Um, so that opens up a lot of doors. Uh, there's brand recognition for both Avon and LG. So this is just super exciting stuff. And let's see, you know, this stuff soaks in really good. I kind of like it. I wouldn't say that it's changing the color of my skin at all. Um, but it does feel soothing. So there's, there is that. Um, I'm just going to try this one product today because as I said, my skin is super twitchy. And if I try too many things and then I react, I'm not going to know 
which thing it was I reacted to. So today is the Farm RX Super Greens Cooling Gel. And that's the unknown in today's try on. Oh, my nose. Sorry, I'm just allergies. I just took my Zyrtec in, and so it takes a little while for it to kick in. The other thing I'm going to use today, uh, which is a known thing, is a new clinical absolute even. This stuff. Do you see these purple circles under my eyes? You see these? And if I look like I'm looking off to the side here, it's because I have my little, um, my camera has a viewfinder, but it's off to the side. So instead of it being right in front of the camera, and I'm just learning this new camera, new setup, new everything. So please bear with me. Um, but this product was a gift when I signed up for Avon back in October. And it is pretty freaking amazing. Um, it comes out kind of like that there. I think it's focusing. Hopefully this whole thing is in focus. I don't know because I can't see at a distance because I wear glasses for distance. And so, but I have my little mirror here. So I'm going to just tap this on here and squeeze a bit more. Turn this thing to the do not dispense position and then use this to do, do, do. now do you see that these purple circles are going away I don't know if you can tell but I can tell it's nothing short of miraculous um, I'm really a huge fan of this I have suffered from dark circles my entire life um, no one seems to know what causes them. They don't know if it's allergies. They don't know what it is. Uh, taking allergy medication doesn't seem to do anything for it. So, you know, but I'm super excited that it actually works. I'm going to give that a couple minutes to soak in and we'll talk about how the world is treating us. I cannot believe that my middle child turned 17 in just today's the 13th. She turned 17 in a week. <laughs> So now, and then my youngest turns 15 on St. Patrick's Day. So holy moly, 15, 17, and 19 in June. My oldest will be 19 in June. I can't believe that I have teenagers. Um, and I know you're probably trying to guess how old is she. Um, I'm pushing 50. <laughs> this is, um, what do I have a hair? Cat fur. Cat fur in my mouth. Oh my goodness. Cat fur life. Um, as I said, it's Chinese New Year yesterday. It's the year of the ox. Um, every 12 years, it cycles around. I was born in 1973, the year of the ox. So this is my fourth golden year, which your golden year is when your animal comes around again. So yes, I will be 48 in September. Yes, this is what almost 50 looks like. No makeup, just skincare for right now. So yeah. Eye stuff has soaked in. I can feel it working. I can feel it working. And at, you know what? I don't know if you can tell, but I can kind of tell up close that um, the redness has kind of diminished. And I'm waving a mirror around. That's really smart. Sorry. Waving a mirror around is causing the camera to go nuts. I can tell that the Farmer X, the cooling gel, has actually diminished the redness a little bit not stinging, not burning, don't feel anything weird, which is good news. And it's supposed to be very, very good and it's vegan. So for all of you who are interested in vegan items, that is definitely something that is new to our collection of skincare. I would love to share it with you. All right. So my new favoritist foundation, and as you can tell, oh, look, I left the, I left the plastic, protective plastic on there. <laughs> you can tell this is my favorite because the container is all dinged up um ah oh, oh that's cool um my new favorite foundation now I love the one that I had before that I showed you in the tube but this <laughs> you may see my little my little sponge is so messed up uh this stuff is phenomenal it, it like I said my skin super 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 
Burr. Twitchy. This stuff goes on like water. It's very... Oh, I got some on my finger now. You see, it's very kind of kind of moist. Not many people like that word, but I'm going to use my other mirror. This one's bigger. Let's see what I'm doing. But I just kind of pounce it onto my face like that. You see? I mean, it doesn't look like much right now, but once I get everything pounced on there. Ugh, I got makeup on the reverse side. That's no bueno. All right. I'm going to pounce it all over. And then I just kind of press it in. I don't wipe it or scrub it. Um, I can't use a foundation brush because it abrades my skin too much. But this little sponge, just by pressing into the skin. I don't know if you can hear the sound of the sponge pressing the foundation on. If you can, it's kind of like an ASMR thing. But... you can see it's starting to cover really really well um, get some more on my little thing there go on this side this side of my face is always redder than this side I don't know why uh, but they do say that if you have allergies um, or you have an allergic reaction to something and you get sensitized uh, in one part of your skin that that place may forever be the place where you break out or have a reaction no matter what allergic thing that you come into contact with what, what allergen so story of my life the side of my face is always very very red uh, very dry um, and part of my problem is I'm a compulsive picker that's why I wear uh, nail extensions because I can't pick if I have nail extensions on um, so if I have dry skin I will pick it if I have a hangnail I will pick it if I have anything that is causing me annoyance I will pick it all right it's looking pretty good here I think what do you think nice coverage um, Again, this little spot right here is always a little bit pinker than the rest of my skin. But I think that looks good and it's not, this will not cake, it will not flake, it will not peel. Um, most foundations that I run into this problem with around here, um, I get flaky peely skin and I can just peel it off in ribbons. Uh, I used to joke that I'm a lizard person because my skin would peel off just like a lizard molts, but you know. <laughs> oh, I forgot to do one thing. So I have my little beauty blender and what I like to do is go up around my hairline and just kind of make sure that everything around the hairline and underneath here is blended in pretty good because I don't like lines and then I go in around the nose area and blend that in and then around the eyes all right so that is the main deal I have the cashmere complexion concealer and that color is, ooh, I can tell my age now my arms aren't long enough I think it says sugar is the color um, we lovingly refer to it at our house as Casper the friendly ghost color uh, because I am very pale because I do not like going outside I do not like being in the sun Again, super sensitive skin. If I get warm, my face flushes and it's not pretty. So we'll just dot some of that on there. Because while the a new clinical absolute even does cover up the purple and reduce the appearance of it, 
I like it to be a little bit even more dealt with. So I use my beauty blender that has been lightly dampened with water to kind of just go in there and there we go. Now if I had fake lashes I'd be wearing them today but I don't because my last pair disintegrated because I've worn them too many times. Today um, I'm using this is something that us vintage folks uh, love it's the Cody Airspun loose face powder this is your grandma's face powder the same thing that she used from the drugstore um, oh yeah so what I do um, in the drag community they is where I think where this started it's a process called baking um, whereby you apply liberal amounts of powder to thine face just pat that in <coughs> and uh, let it sit the good news is this stuff smells really good bad news is it gets everywhere all right so I patted all of that in and I can feel it absorbing quite a bit of the excess foundation. Oh, look at me. I'm covered in powder. All right. Let's dust myself off. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I have a little um, teddy bear brush or what's it called? Um, well, mine is from another makeup brand, but it's this really soft and you can tell that it's been used to get the powder off my face but it's a really soft brush it does not agitate my skin and this is where I just kind of remove the excess just dust it off now I have my face set this is the base for any look that I want to do on top of it I can go glam, I can go day to day, whatever, whatever. Uh, but today I'm just gonna go with a basic, basic look. So I have this new thing that I love. Um, Jesus love, and this is the Colors of Love Kiss Me Cushion Blush in Sweet Pea. And it is similar to the foundation that I just used. Oh, come on now. Yeah. You just use the little, the little cushion. To barely, I just kind of barely apply it. And I compensate on this side for this side because as you know this side is going to be redder than this one so I use less on this side hey, hey I'm gonna drop my mirror there and it takes a little bit of doing but ah there we go I can see better but I love this product because it gives a very vintage finish the color is a vintage blush color which I don't know if Avon was doing that on purpose or if that was just the way that it came out. There we go. Just a light little little blush. I'm not a big fan of blush because as I said, face red sensitive. Um, and usually I just look like um, a clown with bad skin if I wear too much blush. So I'm gonna use my little teddy bear brush again and just kind of dust over it to blend it in done now I don't know what it looks like on camera because again I have terrible distance vision uh, but uh, from what I can see up close it looks pretty good so let's see take a sip of my dr. pepper hmm diet dr. pepper is the only diet soda that actually tastes exactly like the real thing um, as opposed to like coke zero which I love coke zero but coke zero doesn't love me um, I was having some health issues and I 
when I cut Coke Zero out completely, uh, they all went away. So that was an interesting uh, situation. All right, so today for eyes, let's see. I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. So as you can see, I have none, um, or very few. Um, I was wondering when I lost my eyebrows and I realized uh, that back in high school, I didn't have any either. Um, and I think that was because I shaved them all off once. I don't know why I did that. Oh yeah, I remember because I wanted thin arched uh, eyebrows like a la 1920s uh, movie starlets. And that didn't work out quite as well as I thought it would. And now that I have more gray hair in my eyebrows, making them nearly invisible, uh, that's an even worse situation. So I'm just using, what is this? This one is the, uh, sorry about that. Glimmer Sticks Brow Definer in light brown. Um, because that's the actual color of my eyebrows-ish. And I'm not gonna do anything too dramatic. Some days I draw an arch, some days I don't, but I'm just gonna, as you can see, I now actually have an eyebrow on that side of my face. I didn't do a whole lot. I just kind of filled in right here in the corner where I'm really skimpy and then just filled in on the ends again where they're kind of skimpy and you can kind of see here I'm just following the line of the existing brows not putting too much product in because um, why would I waste product that I'm just gonna have to wash off later again when I said worst direct marketing person ever oh you sell makeup yeah I do you don't wear makeup well I do sometimes I wear it for YouTube I wear it for you um, I don't wear it at home because um, I'm a budget conscious person and I don't want to put it on just to have to take it off later because that was all 30 pennies of it wasted which is a stupid reason when you think about it again bold unorthodox um, so I've got my eyebrows on so now that I can see my eyes and I've got the love in Paris eye palette that was from campaign 24 last year which I super love and I'm not sure if there's any left um, but I really really do love this palette the only thing I don't love me crazy is I wish it had a little mirror here um, because having to hold the palette and a brush now I don't have a mirror so but of all the things in the world to complain about that one is so minor yeah so just put my little mirror over here in a stand hope I can see myself there we go alrighty so I'm gonna just pick Let's see, I'm gonna pick, cause I'm wearing oranges today and I'm wearing a lot of brown. I think I'm gonna choose uh, that color right there. It's kind of a, I don't know what to describe it as. It's kind of a brownish, metallic-ish color. Not bronze, it's more brown than anything, which I think is gonna look nice with my dress today. So we'll see what happens when I apply this to my eyes. All right, we're back. My camera stopped. Um, I'm kind of happy with this color. Uh, it told me that my maximum recording time had stopped. Uh, we're not doing live this morning. We're doing pre-recorded just because um, setting up for live is a whole lot more of a endeavor and I have to do some other shooting later today. So this setup needed to be set up. All right, so I'm kind of liking this. It's a little bit gold. Uh, with a little bit of a yellow or orange undertone, which is perfect for what I'm wearing. And do the other eye, which I always have a problem getting things done symmetrically. Um, I don't know if that's because I have a little bit of a condition with my right arm, which makes it difficult to maneuver or if it's just that that's the way my brain sees things, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna go with that 
liking the way that's looking. Yeah, a little bit more over on this side, maybe a little bit there. Good. All right, that works. Simple, nothing major. And then I'm gonna just blend it out with my blender brush because I like smoothing out the edges. And I've got a little bit under there. All right, that does not look bad. I've been practicing doing makeup looks where it's just one color of eyeshadow that's really heavily put right on the lid because I have hooded eyes and doing fun effects like a winged eyeliner or whatever don't really come out all that great. So I kind of like this new style that I'm trying out here. And I have the Glimmer Sticks Eyeliner in black and green because I'm wearing black and green. Um, and I also have hazel brown eyes, so I prefer to use a green eyeliner or a brown eyeliner to kind of, uh, what's the word? I don't know. Make it pop. Make it look good. There we go. So I'm going to just follow my line here. Ooh, that got to be a little bit aggressive, didn't it? Oh, yeah. All right, so we'll just smudge that out. Yes, happy little trees. There are no accidents, just happy little trees. Or something like that. Borrow from Bob Ross. Yeah. So I have a little bit of a smudge down there. Let me see if I can... Yes, Beauty Blender. It's amazing. Alright, so then... I always tend to end up with thicker uh, eyeliner for whatever reason. And I don't know if it's because I have a hard time controlling the pencil, but um, that is just, that's the way it is. So I usually end up doing something thicker and then just kind of smudging it out. It's what works for me. You might do something a little bit differently and that's okay. All right. Schmutz off my fingertips there if I can. All right, so let's see what's next. All right, so we've got foundation, base, eyes. Oh, you know what I don't have is mascara. So, but you know what? I'm going to do my lips first because usually when I do mascara, I have to like contort my eyes. So we'll do uh, lipstick first. This is one of the cute little ones from the Ooh La La collection. And this one is Ooh La La lipstick in frills. It's just a, a pretty pinky nude, just a nice matte. I love it not just because it has a cute vintage style tube, but also because the color itself is rather vintage inspired as well. And I don't know if you can see what I see. Um, it is not brown. Um, looking in the camera, to me it looks a little bit burgundy, but it really isn't. The color is actually a pinkish, more pink than nude, but not pink pink because I don't wear pink pink. So that's almost the entire look done. And then I'm going to love at first lash. I love this mascara. It goes on super well. And it doesn't super clump, which is nice. I used to have such beautiful lashes when I was a kid, but then they all fell out. I guess that's the price we pay for getting old. Old er. Old er. All right. There we go. Now the remaining eyelashes I do have are so long that they do tend to my eyelid. So I have to be kind of careful. There we go. 
all done. So that is get ready with me, kind of a impromptu, well, not impromptu, I had planned this, but just off the cuff, unscripted, that's the word I was looking for, unscripted, uh, unorthodox, <laughs> And I am wishing all of you a very wonderful, happy weekend, a happy Valentine's Day if you celebrate Valentine's Day. If you don't, I totally get it. Um, and I will see you guys very, very shortly. I promise it won't be as long in between uploads, lives, what have yous, as it has been. It's just the holiday season got a little hectic and time with my family was kind of at a premium. So. Love you all, and I will see you very soon. Have a great day.